right guys welcome back to the channel so what we have today is the e46 and we are going for a little run in it Um, i don't do these kind of videos really where i go off but i want to get into it a little bit more where i'm actually going out and just having fun with the car uh, and get used to actually see um and experience it kind of in a way with me so um yeah guys we are starting off and we are maybe some of you's actually probably seen the video beforehand of me talking a little bit about the car but for you that don't know i ended up getting an e46 convertible um this is the 2.2 petrol and um, so it's a straight six power wise you can say it's plenty and um, for what it is but i'll tell you one thing it's absolutely so much fun and it's an absolute joyride and uh, when it comes to actually driving the car itself but yeah guys i just want to bring you guys along i thought that my gopro actually died out there i just want to bring you guys along and show you um, the car itself so yeah as i said it's a straight six 2.2 and it has the m54 b22 engine and um, yeah this car, uh, this car itself is actually a stick shift uh, manual not an automatic which is a little bit harder to get when um when it comes to manual for some reason and i don't know why uh, beforehand you can pick up plenty of these and they're manual but now to actually get one um, in fairly alright condition manuals are a little bit harder to get um, especially this one being a convertible as well and it's an n swap model so yeah guys as i said we're gonna go for a little run and get you and get to show you the car itself this gopro keeps going off it keeps annoying me it's actually not going off just me tripping out and um, well here we go guys there's a lot of a lot of traffic actually around here and we're not up in the mountains or anything to actually show you so we're a little bit in the middle of traffic now at the moment and there's a good few cars so to get a few runs out of it might be a little bit tricky but but we'll get there guys so this car um has no work done to it other than it just got a hks air filter on it exhaust straight through is basically just standard exhaust on it and um, nothing too fancy nothing too special yet we can say um but you can still hear the car this the noises that it actually makes is it's pretty cool like because it, it's a six inlet and uh, a lot of the time actually driving six inlets um they can excite you i'll tell you is that and me like around here as as you know we mainly drive diesels um either it's a four cylinder diesel or if you get a six cylinder some of them sound nice whatever it is but four cylinders they're a little bit like um they're okay they only they rev up up to a certain amount this car goes up to 7000 rpm and um, it probably manages up to about six and a half k is where you can push it here um, I never actually went up to 7k but we might find out see how that is but I'm just gonna roll down the windows next of all after we get by this traffic there's, there's actually a lot of traffic and it's probably the worst time I've actually picked to actually show you is um, the car itself because this is actually rush hour people actually getting home from work or whichever it is so there's a good bit of traffic so yeah guys, um, what else is there to this car? Basically it's fully standard. It's a completely standard. Um, there's no, nothing done to it at all. Um, suspension wise as well. I think actually suspension wise, the front, the person that owned this car from the front, he doesn't look like he done anything with the suspension, but the back for some reason, even when I put like 18s or whichever, it's just a little bit lower, it sits low where it actually starts to rub. And um, might have to actually look into that and get a set of coilovers or something for it to so sit a lot better. But for now, um, we're running 17s on it, and um, which is the we have MV1s, M Sports, they're fairly okay. Um, but yeah, as I said, the suspension I think from the back, he, he must have lowered or something on springs, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, front, so it's kind of like a little bit of a dip kind of look, it, it looks like that in a way. But it'll get there. I'm not too sure guys if you can actually hear me. But this car has a little bit of a little little bit of pops and bangs you can say to it. And when you actually <laughs> Yes. Oh. Oh thought that was actually 
Yeah, they were right behind us. Yikes. That's why I don't like doing these kind of things when you're in the middle of everyone. You don't really know who's around you. You might get your friendly neighborhood um, people around too. There's an undercover. Here we are. Right, guys. First gear. Ah. 434 Skyline right here pulling up. Gone. Right. Third gear. Ready guys? Third gear pull. 4000. Vanos kicks in. <laughs> it's so fun to actually drive. Um, I don't know what it is, it, it's not even like the torque or it's not even the horsepower like this this car factory it's only 170 brake now don't get me wrong guys 170 horsepower back in its time so this is a 2002 um, model so for back in its age you can say 170 horsepower was pretty quick uh, but it's not even that I think it's just more of the raw feeling when you're actually driving the car itself because with itself it has power and steering and everything but it's not electrical it's literally you feel like you're the driver if you get me like i drove other cars as well and everything just mainly electrical and um, but with this one it, it's not it's just a raw feeling of it um but here we go try to get off this roundabout as i said guys there's a lot of traffic so trying to actually get a few pulls out of it is a little bit hard Not too sure if you can actually hear the outside of it. It's not too loud. It's quiet enough. But I think um, the filter. I don't even know if you can actually hear me as well. Let's roll these windows up. I'm not too sure if he's gonna actually hear me, but it's probably can now. Um, what was I on to? Oh yeah, I was saying the exhaust. As I said, it's just standard. But the filter itself or whatever it is it's giving it a nice little sound and um, it's not over overly high not overly low it it's good um but as i said i really do want to exa exhaust on it and um we'll get there oh it's just this traffic now i'm actually trying to avoid it so i can show you Also guys, I don't know if you can actually hear it. When I roll down the windows, you can hear like a little whine coming from it. Now this actually gets me pretty hyped up. Now what's actually wrong with the car is the flywheel and um, bearing that's inside of it is starting to wind up because it, it's it's worn out. Um, so I need to get the, replace the whole clutch and flywheel. But um, we will do. But for now, like listening to the car, it actually sounds a little bit like a supercharger. No lie. Um, ah, oh, come on traffic right i'm gonna roll down the windows and get a few other pulls out of it actually yeah go another route there's a little bit no traffic here little crackles coming out of it right here we are Second gear pull. Where's <laughs> my the GoPro went flying? Woo! Right. That was second to third gear. Um, as I said, it's just exciting. There's no better feeling than like just being able to actually drive the car the way the way you want it. But especially that sound coming from a six inlet, it's sick. I'm gonna let you hear it one more time. We don't have anyone behind us. There's 
sind da. I'm not too sure if you can actually hear that from the inside, but or in camera itself, and um, but it sounds pretty cool. So yeah, guys, just wanted to show you there. Second to door gear pulled, a few toward gear ones. Um, it's as I said, it's not even, it's not even that fast. It's not like even too scary or anything. It just, it's just the sound of it. That it just quite, it's nice. Like, it's an absolute joyride, as I said. And driving all these newer cars and going back to these older ones, there's so much more fun in these older cars than these in the newer ones. Right guys, I think I'm gonna call it there. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the car itself. Let's go a little bit sideways. Yup. I'm actually starting to get paranoid with these cars coming out of nowhere right behind me. Just close these windows. Right, we're gonna chill out now. I don't know actually who's gonna be right behind me. But as I said guys, I'm gonna call it here. Um, I just want to actually show you the car of my new car actually. This is actually my daily. And um, for you guys that have been following me and see my previous videos, the E60 is actually sadly gone. I end up selling the car. And this is my daily, as you can say. Um, I've been driving this car for a good while now. And as a daily, it's good enough you can actually say. It's not like, it's not comfortable and stuff here and there, like um, like it's rattly, there, there's noise coming from and all, but it, it's fun, it's experience. Yeah guys, as I said, if you wanna see anything else, let me know in the comments down below. Um, other than that guys, I'm gonna leave it here, and I'll see you in the next one, peace. Oh.